What up, misanthropic? Um, I'm sure I'm not the first to say, what the hell, school system? What the hell? You know, I think it's, I don't even know if this was, I'm guessing this is a public school the way you talk about it. Um, but that's just sad, the fact that that happened. You know, the fact that it happened at all is messed up. But a freaking first grader, how are you going to do that to a first grader? How, how are you going to cut some first graders' hair off and get away with it? I mean, it's not so much that, oh, uh, it's not like, oh, you know, the school made him get a haircut. I think that's messed up, too. I mean, I don't, first of all, do public schools even have the right to make people get a haircut? They shouldn't, if you ask me. But I don't even think private schools should, but that's aside the point. It's not like that. But the teacher comes up, takes the kid's braid, and chops it off. Um, how are you going to do that? Seriously. Um, I, I, I don't even know. I'm mostly just pissed off about this. But how, seriously, come on. How are you going to do that? And, you know, I think it's sad that they would keep this teacher's job. And you know what I think it is? Oh, you know, they have a hard time finding teachers. Oh, you know what? I'm sure there are lots of people trying to get a job for teaching. We can fire this dumb girl, this dumb woman. Get somebody who, who's been working hard for a job. There are a lot of people working hard trying to get a job here in America that can't find one. And these people keep their jobs. That pisses me off. The fact that there are people working so hard trying to get a job looking for jobs and people like this can keep them you know what I wouldn't care if I found this person on the street if this person was on the street asking for money I would I would just flip I might take out a nickel or something flick it right in their forehead <laughs> now nah, I'm not exactly making sense right here but still you understand what I'm saying this is enough to piss me off these her, this woman doesn't deserve her job, simple and plain. She doesn't deserve to keep that job. If you're going to dis... Well, I'm not saying don't discipline students. But if you're going to disrespect students, there's a difference, okay? To, to that extent. Di disciplining students is saying, okay, you're not acting right. Um, you sit out during recess. That's discipline. Cutting off a kid's braid... That's disrespect. Do you understand what I'm, what I'm getting at? Telling a kid off, you know, telling a kid off, um, like you don't do that. That's discipline. Cutting a kid's braid off. That's disrespect to the kid. Um, the parent, the money, the pa if 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 it's a uh, private school, it'd be the money the parents paying. But you know, it's a, it's a disrespect to the kid, the parent, um, the taxpayers. Who are paying um, to keep up these schools? It's a disrespect to the taxpayers. That, yeah. No, I don't exactly pay taxes. I don't know because I'm a kid. I don't know much about it. But if my parents' money, if if uh, not just my parents' money, if America's money, but if my money was going towards a teacher like this, I don't want my money funding her. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't want my money funding this woman. She doesn't deserve a job. Mm. And I'm not one of those people always whining about, you know, finances and you know, my money's not going to what I want it to. But all I'm saying is, it's it it it's our money, and these and these people shouldn't be getting our money. Does that make sense? Uh, and, and and I don't know what state this is in or any of that. But still, if this was in, you know, local California, I wouldn't want my money going towards that. Um, and, yeah, I'm drinking a Coke. You know what? I'm tired. Deal with it. Um, yeah. She doesn't deserve her job. To put it simple and plain, I'm making this video too long. So to put it simple and plain, the school system has really dropped the ball on this one. And I think the school system itself does because, I, I mean, how every school is trying to get kids is basically just 
trying to get kids closer and closer to this idea of of setting a standard for who somebody should be that takes and trying to take away the kids individuality you understand what I'm saying with all these uniforms yeah I go to a school where I gotta wear a uniform um yeah I gotta keep I can't wear my hair like this to school not that I'd want to because it's a mess but I can't wear my hair like that to school um I can't grow my hair out um I honestly there was a point where I kinda wanted to I think it might look like crap because I used to have long hair yeah my old school used to always make me cut my hair yeah, because it was like it was like down to there, and I was always playing with it, and I understand that, but they would never make a girl cut their hair. I mean, I'm not even gonna get started on this double standard, but <sighs> pissing me off, you know. Um, and yeah, having to wear like a uniform to school just to like look like everybody else, and it doesn't help anything. I don't mind it that much, considering that I know who I am, but I know a lot of kids don't. Um, don't know who they are so they so they just wear their uniform and that's how they get along I guess it's supposed to be to create some sort of peace as if there's not supposed to be problems with people dressing differently or not having or feeling bad because they don't have enough money to get all the cool clothes but you know what I, dr I have a fair amount of money and some would argue that I dress like a freaking bum uh, I, w I wear my nice chain I'm not wearing it right now but I have a nice hatchet man chain but that costs like what that might have cost 25 bucks, uh, tops. That just, look, I just wear, you know, just a t-shirt right here. Black t-shirt. You know, freaking kind of oldish jean short thingies. Uh, that I put a hatchet man on the back of. Uh, let's see if you can see it. Uh, I'm not trying to show you my butt. I'm trying to show you the hatchet man. Yeah, I put a hatchet man on it. So basically, you know, I don't have a lot of that crap. Because that's not what I want to spend my money on. I have one pair of kind of, of kind of, uh, they're hatchet shoes, but they're kind of like old, you know what I mean? Like, they're starting to get old and get, like, messed up. But I don't care about that, personally. I like dressing different. That's who I am. I don't care. Um, and people spend a lot of money on clothes, you know what, that's cool. But it's sad when people feel like they need to. And I think the whole uniform idea isn't helping that, if you ask me. I think if, if anything... It's just making people not able to express themselves, if anything. And some would argue, oh, you're there to learn, not express yourself. No, you're there to get the grade. I've seen it. I've been through it. I'm at a Catholic institution. You're not there to learn. You're there to get a good grade. I've, I, there are some teachers I know, some teachers who really care about learning. I do have teachers who really care about learning. Those are the ones I respect a lot. There are other teachers, though, that only care about grades, and I can tell. Um, there are other teachers there that really make you, especially with the parental involvement and the way they're always trying to pressure you about grades and all that crap, they just make you want to not give a crap. And in some ways, that's what I've done, is not give a crap, because the teachers are always so grade-focused. I almost feel like, why bother? You know what I mean? It's like, I'd rather be learning than doing something over and over again just for the homework grade. If, I, if I'm doing a home, I'm, if I, I'd rather do a homework assignment that takes forever, but I'm actually learning something, rather than just some crappy review of crap I'd already know, and then get counted down because I didn't finish it because I already know it. So, you know what, the school system is a problem. If you ask me, we shouldn't be graded for our homework. We should just have our quizzes and tests and be graded on that because that means we know the, the material. We should have a homework assignment. If you want to do this, you can, um, but we should just be graded on our quizzes or tests, if you ask me, or like projects and crap like that. But I don't think regular homework assignments should be graded considering that... Um, we should just be graded on the quiz and test. So tell me what you think. And uh, who, that teacher who cut off Lam Lamia Cammon's hair needs to be fired right now. I don't want my taxes to not grow up going to women like that, people like that, teachers like that. Um, yeah, support our public schools.
get some good money in there so people don't have to go to one of those darn religious institutions to get a good education. Peace out.